Labour's election decimation at the hands of the Conservatives has shaken the party to its core. They lost 59 seats, many in Labour heartland constituencies, some that haven't been Tory for a hundred years. The devastating blow has cut the legs out from under its leadership, with both Jeremy Corbyn and Shadow Chancellor John McDonnell set to step down. Now, as the dust settles, who's in the running to lead the clean-up? Rebecca Long Bailey is in pole position for the top job. She's the most likely person to carry forward the Corbyn project and keep the party in the hands of its far left members. Rebecca Long Bailey is a very strong candidate. She's long been groomed as a natural successor to Jeremy Corbyn, along with Laura Pidcock, who was booted out of the Commons in the general election. She lives with Angela Rayner, so could have her backing. And she's also very popular with the membership as a key Corbynite. However, given what happened in the election, members may be slightly wary of trying more of the same. Arch Remainer Sir Keir Starmer is seriously considering throwing his name in the hat. The former head of the Crown Prosecution Service was one of the architects of Labour's second referendum policy and is most likely to receive the backing of bigwigs from the new Labour glory years. Despite being Remainer, Keir Starmer has been faultlessly loyal to Jeremy Corbyn. He's popular with the membership, he's very clever, Though, as a London millionaire with a knighthood, he might not be the best person to win back the Red Wall. Wigan MP Lisa Nandy has already made noises about a leadership bid. Well, the honest answer is that I'm seriously thinking about it. Lisa Nandy is the dark horse of this race and definitely one to watch during the campaign. She's a the soft left of the party. She accepts we need to leave and has done quite well working across party uh, to, get, you know, to get support from across the Commons. However, she's probably upset the left of the party. In 2016, she resigned from the Shadow Cabinet, but she's now flirting with them again, uh, quoting ousted Corbynite Laura Pidcock in the Commons this week. And on top of all that, she's also an internet sensation going viral with a flurry of memes about her saying towns, because she, I mean, she really loves towns. Jess Phillips is among the most critical of Jeremy Corbyn from within Labour's ranks. The MP for Birmingham Yardley has also spoken out about the party's handling of anti-Semitism and bullying. Birmingham's own Jess Phillips is the candidate the Conservatives fear the most. She is a fantastic talker, she's funny, she's good on Twitter and her speeches frequently go viral. She's also working class and she's very, very good at campaigning and popular across the House. However, she's been quite outspoken on anti-Semitism, she's been quite critical of Jeremy Corbyn's leadership, neither of which are going to give her a chance of going through the membership. Emily Thornbury backed Jeremy Corbyn for a successful bid in 2015. She's right next door to Corbyn in her constituency and stayed close to the leadership despite her Remainer stance on Brexit. Not been the best start to the campaign for Emily Thornbury, who's had to deny calling Leave voters stupid after being accused of doing so by an ousted Labour MP, Caroline Flint. She said to one of my colleagues, um, I'm glad my constituents aren't as stupid as yours. Um, I'm sorry, it's not acceptable. Um, I've contacted her and I've said to her, you know, please withdraw or I'll give you to the end of the day, and she hasn't. So I've had to go to solicitors. She's a passionate Remainer, she's popular with the membership, and she was intelligent enough to warn against the general election, which has led to a wipeout of the Labour Party. Yvette Cooper has buckets of experience. An MP since 1997, she served in government under Gordon Brown and is a recognisable face in Westminster. She's considered among the more centrist in the party and is well known for her raised up questioning of ministers as chair of the Home Affairs Select Committee. To a lot of people, Yvette Cooper seems like the rational choice. She is an experienced parliamentarian. She's held senior cabinet positions in a Labour government, which some of you may not remember. But as a centrist and someone who's worked with Blair and Brown, she's probably not going to be the membership's choice. She will be considered centrist. She will be considered probably right wing by some of them. And I, it would be a long shot for her to make it to the final two. Clive Lewis is the latest to throw his hat into the ring. A keen socialist and Europhile, he could unite warring factions within the party. He still seems like a massive long shot, but then again, Corbyn came out of nowhere when he won in 2015.